Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Mech Fans Toys 6 Ninja, a deluxe sized 6 shot. Now this is a figure that I bought completely on a whim. I had some Amazon gift card money burning a hole in my pocket and saw this guy listed. Now, I was surprised because normally when you see a third-party figure on Amazon, it takes two to three weeks to arrive to your house after you buy him, but this guy had the Prime logo right beside him, meaning he was in stock here in the States, ready to go. So I pulled the trigger on him. Three days later, he is in my possession, so I really cannot wait to check this guy out. I'm a huge G1 six-shot fan. So taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got great artwork of Six Shot right here, and I think that's from the IDW Comics. Six Ninja here at the bottom with some writing I don't understand. Here on the side of the box, more artwork. Product shot of Six Ninja in robot mode. Here on the back of the box is all of the different alt modes that he can pull off, and those are very, very G1. I love it. This side of the box, you have a headshot of Six Ninja, or Six Shot. Let's see, Six Ninja here on the top, and lots of writing I don't understand on the bottom. So now, without further ado, let's get this figure opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Six Ninja all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that is very well illustrated and easy to follow. It's all done up in black, white, and red. And down here on this side, you do have some color images of what I believe is more IDW artwork of Six Shot here attacking Ultra Magnus. So, those are pretty cool. He also comes with his two blasters, just like the G1 figure. Both of these blasters are exactly the same and look really, really good. He also comes with two swords, and these you get a left and a right sword, and that's because of the little tabs right here that I'll go over later on. And I really like how these swords look. You've got the black handle with the nice silver blade. Those are awesome. And he gets two double barrel cannons that these are kind of frustrating in a way because they're only used for a couple of vehicle modes and cannot store in robot mode at all and i'll go over that more later on as well and of course we have six ninja himself now taking a closer look at six ninja himself i love the looks of this figure he is so Generation 1. The sculpted details is a direct throwback. Let me see if I can get six shot to fit in here of the G1 toy. Look at the details there on the chest, the little chest circles down there to the crotch, the tank treads. I mean, this guy is a great homage to that original Generation 1 toy. Sculpted detail is fantastic. The paint applications look great. Like right there on the wings with the silver and purple head sculpt. Looks awesome as well. He's got some evil red eyes. 
Great sculpted detail there on the arms. You got the tank treads right there. And those are painted very well also. Moving on down, let's see. The legs, great sculpted details. More great paint applications on the knees and the feet. This guy just looks awesome. I love it. This was a, as I said in the intro, just a whim buy on Amazon for me. Now, taking a quick look at the articulations, let's start with the wings. Now, the wings in this position is how the G1 figure was always portrayed, but I like to display mine with the wings out. So you can kind of flare the wings out this way, and you have that look going on. Of course, they can fold all the way back in and out and back up, and you can also take them, if you don't want to look at any wings, fold them back, and you've got that look going on. Also, with the arms, as you can see, this one's a little loose, so that one tends to fall back in place, but no biggie. The arms can go out, they can go in. They can also do a complete 360 if you have the wings out of the way and the chest wings folded in. You've got a complete 360 right there. There's an elbow bend. There is an elbow rotation. Very, very tight, though. No wrist rotation whatsoever. There is a waist rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. There is a knee bend, a very deep knee bend. A little bit, nope, there it is. Once again, very tight, but you got a thigh rotation right there. No ankle tilt, but the toes can move, but that's due to transformation as well. I love this guy, this guy is so cool. Now, let's go ahead and get his wings back up, and we will bring in his weaponry. And the first weapons we're going to look at are his blasters. Just like the Generation 1 toy, he's got two of the exact same blasters. So we can go ahead and put those in his hands. Now, I do like the fact that the hands are not a complete closed fist. They kind of have that open look like that. But the weapons still fit in really good so he can dual wield just like his generation one self so that looks awesome now if you don't want to use the guns he does come with swords as i showed earlier and i guess this is from idw that he used the swords but just like the blasters they just fit right in his hand and with his articulation and the way he can pose you can get some pretty neat looks with this guy. Of course, you got the blasters just hanging there. Now, the guns, you can peg the guns in behind his wings. That little slot right there for storage. I don't really like the looks of that, but it's something you can do. Now, I do love weapon storage for the swords, and that's where those little tabs come into play, right there on the hilt. If you match up the tab with the slot there on his leg, now you want to make sure and get the right tab in the right slot because that'll make the sword be displayed at an angle. If I can get it in, it is a tight fit. So yeah, we got that one in and see how it angles down. If I use the other sword, it would angle up. So we got that look going on for that sword. And let's see, we'll take the other, get that pegged in. So now we have both the swords on his sides. We can put his weapons, his guns back in his hands. So now we have six shot, all armed and ready for battle. Now, unfortunately, that leaves these double barrel cannons just hanging. There's nowhere you can put these weapons on the figure. He's got these big holes there on the feet that I thought they could go into, but this hole, the peg on the double barrel cannon, is a little too big. It also will not fit in the little section on the wings. So there's really nowhere you can use these until you start transforming Six Ninja into his vehicle modes. And speaking of his vehicle modes, let's go ahead and show those off. Now the first thing you need to do before you start your transformation sequence with Six Ninja here is remove all the weaponry. Now I've already done that, so let's go ahead and get him transformed into what I think is his weakest mode, his winged wolf. And the first thing we're gonna do 
is back here on the back bring this section down with his head fold the head in and then shut this section right back up it's his head is going to stay in there for the rest of all the transformations now we're going to flip down the wolf head put that in position like so with the arms let's see next thing is the fist so what we're going to do is there's a little flap right there you're going to bring that down and bring the fist in and as you fold the fist in these silver claws are going to pop out so go ahead and do that on both side i guess panel panel is what i meant to say flip that panel down rotate the fist around and now you have the paws so go ahead and fold those up bring the wings up and now with the back legs what you're going to do is open this section here both these panels behind the legs that way you have this little locking mechanism right here see this tab right there goes into that slot which locks the legs in place and go ahead and bring the feet down or the purple sections down like so fold up the toe sections right there go ahead and tab these back together you want to kind of angle those up slightly bring the arms down whoops always forgetting something make sure and have these chest wings folded in get the arms down and fold the wings back and there's six shots beast mode and this one is kind of lame i don't like how the rear legs transform there's really not much you could do with them i wish they could collapse in a little bit more but hey that's just like the g1 i like the wolf head it looks more like a wolf than the generation one toy got nice painted eyes right there and there is articulation with the mouth if i can get it that it can open and close so that's pretty cool like the claws nice silver paint there but yeah wolf mode is kind of weak now you can put the blasters on wolf mode right here behind the wings but you have to angle kind of rotate these around and the instructions show one thing the pictures show another so with a six shot toy you just kind of make it your own so if you could get those in there like so you can position the guns on the wings but it really pushes the wings in unless you angle the feet out a little bit more you've got that going on but it's still not great so anyway that is wolf mode now the next mode we'll transform into is his gun mode go ahead and fold the wolf head back bring these wings all the way up and you're going to tab them together here at the top just like the old g1 toy now straighten the legs back out you want to take these flaps open these up and this is where you're going to bring in the double barrel cannons if you look right inside the leg you've got this big hole that the cannons are going to fit into now this is a very tight fit so you want to be careful get your finger in or your thumb in that way you can press down because you don't want to press and move a lot with the barrels you don't want to snap those off go ahead and lock that back into place get the other barrel here one thing i forgot to do like i said i'm always forgetting something with this six shot toy so right here work that barrel out make sure the toes are folded in flip those down all the way around until they stop now we'll put the double barrel blaster back in there we go shut that flap do the other now this one is harder to get in for me for some reason i just can't get that one lined up just right but there we go so now we've got both of the double barrel blasters in get that shut tab the legs together like so now you're going to take the claws and just fold them back against the forearm and you can just bring the arms forward however you like 
I actually like to have mine with these vent sections facing forward. There we go. And now you're going to take the pig blaster, excuse me, and peg those in to the holes on the side of the legs. And now you have six shot in his gun mode. And of course, you get the little wolf head trigger right there. And just like G1, it's all right. It would be better if the legs would stay tabbed together. There we go. So now there is six shots gun mode. Or if you know somebody who happens to be offended easily, flip that upside down and there's the infamous submarine mode. So yeah, there's, there's that. So now let's go ahead and get him transformed into tank mode. We'll go ahead and take the big guns off the side. We're going to open the flaps up. Well, let me think. No, might not need to do that. So you're going to bring the flaps up. There we go. Yeah, we don't need to do that this time. Bring the arms around and you want to rotate the front arm to where the tank treads are both facing the same way. And also there's a joint right here that you want to rotate this around for tank mode. And this is kind of hard to do because there is a joint that also allows the arm to rotate. So you kind of have to get your thumb in, if you can see it, and rotate that forward. Kind of a pain. There you go, see how that moves? So now, I want that facing down, or both sides facing down rather. Honestly, I really don't fool with that that much because it doesn't make much of a difference. But there we go, just because the instructions say so. Rotate these sections facing down. Take the wings, fold those down. Bring them back. Bring the legs up more. Bring, make sure these flaps here are up. Angle forward. And now we're going to take the large blasters once again. And just like gun mode they're gonna go right there on the sides and there you have six shot or six ninja how many times have i called him six shot already in tank mode and tank mode is is a little odd looking it's very odd looking i wish he had his cockpit like the g1 did so i guess you just have to pretend right there but still very g1 accurate he looks more that like an anti-aircraft vehicle than a tank, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and remove the guns. Go ahead and bring the legs down. Unfold the flaps. Now right here in the G1 toy or on the G1 toy, or I guess in the G1 toy, these little guns here, you could rotate those around and they would hide within the legs. But because of the joint and the locking mechanism right here, you can't bring these around and have the flap shut. So that's why you can't really store these blasters inside the figure. So go ahead and pop those out. We only need those for gun mode and tank mode. Come on. Like I said, that, that one's a tight fit. Get that one popped out, and we'll put those to the side. So now, from here, let's go ahead and get him transformed into his vehicle mode. So let's go ahead and move the wings and the arms out of the way. Go ahead and lock the legs back together. And then we're going to rotate all the way around, like so. You want to make sure and push these knee sections flush so you get that all the way in just like that and then you can shut these flaps now for this you are going to have to take the toes and flip the toes back out so that the panels will fit flush against the thighs but you have to make sure those thighs are in there. Up oh, right here is your problem. 
these toe sections here, you need to rotate these around the other way this time. So you make sure the hole is facing up. That's where I made my mistakes. Let me get those flipped around. Now the legs will fit in more flush. As I said earlier, I've been messing around with this guy for a few days. Always when you're on camera is when you mess up. So everything's in there flush now. Let's see. I need to bring those toes back in. Fold those in. There we go. Finally. So there's the front of the vehicle. Going to bring the wings up. And once again, you can rotate here. Rotate that little joint around if you so choose. To be honest, it, in my opinion, it does not make much of a difference at all. And then you want to bring the arms down where the wheels rotate the wheels like so. There we are. Then bring the wings down and fold those along the back. And there is six shots armored transport mode. And that's still okay. I do need to bring those farther down. Okay, and after all that manipulation, you see these little sections right there pointing straight up. That's what you want to do. Get those in position, fold the wings down, and there you have six shots vehicle mode. And once again, looks very, very generation one, aside from the fact you really can't put the weapons on. You can put the weapons on the front where I flip those toes up, but that looks a little odd. In the instructions, an option for you is you can flip the wings up and attach the blasters right there. So you've got that option. Let's go ahead and do both of those. So now we have the armored car. And it's okay. None of these vehicle modes are great. I do like the painted windshields. I think that looks really good. And the wheels. Really like those. Nice silver there for the rims and actually blends in really good with the metal pin that's holding it in place. So now let's get him transformed into my favorite mode, the Starship. So you're going to take this section here, just bring these around. Now these are on a little double hinge. Make sure and bring those around and get them so they fit right in here. There we go. So there's the front of the ship. Go ahead and flip him around. Take the wings, fold those out like so. Now for the arms, I like to rotate around, flip this section out here so those vents are facing forward once again. There we go. Get the wings out. And then you're gonna take the blaster and there's a little tab right there on the wing. Get that tabbed in. So there is one blaster, get the other tabbed in here. There are little flaps underneath the wings. You want to fold those out. And there is six shot in his starship mode or space fighter mode. And I, I like this one. I've always liked this mode. Forgot to flip up the tail fins. So there we go. This has been a terrible review. I've had a fit transforming this guy. But there you go. Not bad looking. I mean, it's it, like I said, it's very, very Generation 1. And if you're a G1 six-shot fan, you are going to love this figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Mech Fans Toys 6 Ninja with Generation 1 six-shot. War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Megatron, and Earthrise Barricade. The Mech Fan Toy 6 Ninja is a great Transformers toy. I have been messing around with this guy since I picked him up. I absolutely love him. He's so much fun, has so much playability. Robot mode is fantastic. I love how G1 he looks, especially with all the different weaponry. Though I do wish these double barrel cannons 
could fit somewhere in robot mode. So you really want to make sure you have these stored somewhere where you don't lose them. The alt modes, the alt modes aren't great, but neither was the G1. With this guy, it's all about imagination. As I said earlier, I bought this figure on a whim, and I'm so glad I did. So there you go, guys. Mech Fan Toys, Six Ninja. So, does a Mech Fan's Toys, Six Ninja, belong in your collection? Well, if you're a G1 fan, specifically a G1 Six Shot fan, absolutely. This is a great little figure with a fantastic homage to the original Generation 1 toy. Though, looking at them now both side by side, I wish Six Ninja had more of a green body than the blue, just like G1 here. But, Robot Mode is fantastic. He's a ton of fun to mess with. The transformations are very similar to the G1 Six Shot, but, as you saw in my video, you really have to make sure that all the little tabs and flaps are in the right place so everything lines up. That can be a little frustrating at first, or when you're on camera, to get it just right. But you mess with the guy a few times, it's going to be a piece of cake. So yes, I highly recommend this figure. I found him on Amazon for 40 bucks, and if it's still available, I will put a link to Six Ninja in the description of this video. So yeah, if you're a Six Shot fan, pick this guy up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and i got to give a big shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that help keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!